Hello, good day to everyone, and I welcome you to the another episode on Mole Flow's tips and workflow. In continuation to the what's new in Autodesk Mole Flow 2024, in this episode we are going to discuss about the coupling of flow solver and thermal conductivity with the fiber orientation. With that, let's get started. See that how these new enhancements or improvement are impacting the other results like the flow behavior the pressure plots and finally the outcome the warpage to know the difference between the effect of coupled analysis or impact of the fiber orientation on thermal conductivity and on the flow side solver I have run a two separate analysis one with the option to choose not to include the thermal conductivity and impact of the fiber orientation on the flow solver so this option was not available in 2023 and it is introduced in 2024 but by default you know user has a option to select these impacts and by default sorry it is off so once you go into the setting when you are trying to run a analysis with the fiber fill material sorry in the fiber solver parameters by default it is set to no okay so it will not consider the fiber effect on thermal conductivity and consider the fiber effect on the polymer rheology now let me give a little brief about how does it is going to impact uh, on the results to the previous release you know the thermal conductivity impact was not considered what does it mean that there was decoupling or i would say it was considered as an isotropic e- effect but with the 2024 release uh, the way the fibers are getting oriented it will have the impact on to the thermal conductivities in short the direction in which the fibers are getting oriented will have a higher thermal conductivity versus the matrix so matrix will always have a more resistance as compared to the thermal con- as compared to the uh, fibers same is in 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 terms of the polymer rheology more there is a concentration of the fibers in particular region it will impact a resistance to the flow and so as the velocity and and by thereby it impacts the the pressure values as well so will there will be a difference in the pressure values will there will be more additional results with this introduction of thermal conductivity and polymer rheology impact yes and we will i'm going to demonstrate what would be the impact of this one but these impacts are more significant when you are working on a little complicated part has n- larger number of rips and as well as uh, the long fiber for the short fibers you will not see that impact so let's get started and i uh, will try to show it during the demonstration so for understanding purpose i have run a two analysis one is the 3d mesh with an no impact at all by default i have set this as no that is a default situation and then in the same uh, processing parameters i have not changed but here i have consider the effect of fiber and polymer rheology and more details are available it's not possible in this episode to take you through the each and every things of it but validation document are available on website or you can go on to the details on what's new in 2024 and you will able to find how these impacts are or the fiber orientation and thermal conductivity is impacting the results and how what is the reason for it so i'm going to lock here the results in the view window lock all views and lock all plots and in fact all animation as well 
so first and foremost thing let's look at the how the polymer is going to flow and as you can see that i have set the injection time almost two seconds for both the things i could see a little difference particularly in this region i'm sorry in this area versus the the one that is here you'll not the, the, the flow is little leading in the case of the uh, fiber effect and so as if you proceed further let's go and look at the results at the end and if you go further down i think you will able to see the a bit of difference between the the flow and so as you will able to see the the pressure values as well the difference in the pressure values the now in the case of the fiber effect the pressure is almost 10 mpa lesser than the the with the no effect and there is also additional results with the mesh uh, with the 2024 fiber effect is on to the you'll get a results called as the uh, as the fiber orientation tensor on the element but thermal conductivity results is also available so you can go on to new plot and look at the thermal conductivity results that's uh, something that you will able to find it thermal conductivity tensor and uh, you can open it in the new window and you will be able to see that this results is not available with the the normal way so wherever there is a high, high fiber orientation so you will absolutely have a more thermal conductivity and th thermal conductivity across the thickness would be less in that region so it will be offering more resistance and uh, let's go back to the our comparison view and uh, let's look at the the effect on to the warpage so sorry this has been swept now on to the left hand side is the fiber effect and on right hand side is the mesh uh, with the no effect and i have put the same anchor planes as that of the let me lock the views and uh, lock all plots and uh, you can see that i have locked it and there is a little bit of you know the difference in the magnitude uh, though the you know the impact remains the same there is not much of the you know difference in the way uh, the warpage is happening but yes there is a little bit difference and this difference would be significant as i mentioned it could be in the case of the complicated model or in the case of the fiber edge so with that probably i will leave here to you to try it on your model and see this one by default these effects are off okay so if you are working on a um, long fiber and you want to you know get started with a coupled analysis by default it uses the isotropic property that is the decoupled uh, analysis uh, doesn't mean that the results uh, would be significantly different but yes in case of the long fiber and the little material with an you know a lot of features the, you'll find a significant difference with that thank you for your time and i talk to you next time with more announcements in 2024